What you're seeing in this observation right here is an apparent horizon, which is essentially a false horizon created by atmosphere and optics. The true physical horizon is likely to be hidden from view at all times, as we don't live in some sort of atmosphereless vacuum. We've found that these small scale observations you're seeing here match large scale observations of boats on large bodies of water almost perfectly. For example, if you imagine a scale of one inch equal to five feet, our viewer height is one and a half inches or seven and a half feet to scale. The distance across the pond of approximately 550 feet would be six and one fourth miles to scale. The horizon on clear days appears just over halfway across this body of water, or approximately 300 feet. 300 feet to scale is about 3.4 miles, exactly where Globe Math puts the horizon for a viewer height of 7.5 feet. Check out the Life is Short channel if you haven't already. We'll leave a link in the description. The channel goes into detail and explains exactly why this happens by using trigonometry and understanding of optics as well as atmosphere. Like we can see here, days in which there's a significant temperature difference between the water and the air above it, we get a mirage. You can see that the RC boat disappears bottom first as it moves away, and that by raising the camera, the objects come back into view top down. The argument for relative curvature in these observations is null and void because at this viewing height, the horizon should be approximately 2,500 feet away, and there should be no obstruction due to curvature. Check out this day, where the RC boat appears to be floating above the horizon. If you imagine the lights across this body of water as being a skyline on the other side of a large body of water, you can see that the bottoms are obstructed, just as we see on a large scale. Even on a day such as this, when there are no waves, the RC boat still disappears bottom first as it moves away. And once again, raising the camera height brings the boat back into view. On this day, the RC boat is placed 200 feet away at most, and as you can see, it has nearly vanished into the mirage. Once again, lifting up brings it back into view. Here's a clear day and you can see the sail of the boat rising above the apparent horizon. On this evening, we attached a light and the light appeared to sail below the horizon. This side-by-side -side comparison shows a large boat on the left and our RC boat on the right. Notice the similarities. When we see objects at such faraway distances that they should be hidden by curvature, then in order to accept that the surface is indeed curved, 
one must believe that the objects and the horizon itself are being projected back around the curve and into the viewer's line of sight. We've demonstrated on this channel how this phenomena can be witnessed and explained on horizontal surfaces, but can it be demonstrated to scale and in reality on a spherical surface?